Eco Explorers. My name is Chris Goforth and I'm the head of Citizen Science at the North Carolina Museum of Natural Sciences. I am an entomologist. Even though my job title doesn't have entomology in the title, I'm still doing research even as the head of Citizen Science at a Natural History Museum. I am very excited to be the entomology science mentor for Eco Explorer because I get to combine my love of citizen science, helping people participate in scientific research, regardless of whether they have a degree in science or not. And I get to combine that with my love of insects and doing insect research. I think insects are amazing. I've loved them for a while, but I haven't loved them my entire life. A lot of people are surprised to learn that I was actually really scared of insects for a big chunk of my life. I grew up as a small child in Arizona, and there's a really big beetle there called the Palaberti beetle. It's about this big. My very first memory of an insect for my whole life was when I was about four years old, and one of those Palaverde beetles fell out of a tree and onto my shoulder while I was out playing one night. When you're very small and you have a very large animal crawling around on you, that's not necessarily the best experience. And I actually ended up being scared of insects for a really long time. In middle school, I started to appreciate insects. My neighbors in Colorado had a really big vegetable garden. If you've ever grown vegetables, you know that you get a lot of insects in your plants. And we started collecting those insects as a way to help control pests in their garden. We eventually started actually collecting them properly. We would pin them, we would identify them, label them, arrange them in boxes in a particular way. And we ended up creating an entire insect museum. So we had this huge collection that we developed over multiple years and started inviting people over to see it. I decided this was something that I loved. I loved finding the insects. I loved working with them. I was learning about them and reading about them. I spent so much time working with this insect collection and it really became something I absolutely loved. When I started high school, I learned that entomology was an actual job you could do. So I could get paid to work with insects and what could possibly be better than that if you love insects as much as I did at the time. So I ended up going to college and wanted to become an entomology professor. I knew I liked insects. I wanted to do insect research. I also wanted to teach people about insects and being a professor was a good way to do that. So I went to college. I did a study when I was in college looking at damselfly behaviors and how they're influenced by weather. And then I went to more college in graduate school and got a degree in entomology. I ended up studying insects as a researcher for about 12 years before I moved to North Carolina to take the job I have now. I studied giant water bugs, which are really cool aquatic insects where the dad takes care of the babies. It's a really, really rare behavior in insects in general. And the giant water bugs are amazing fathers and the mom's not involved at all. At the same time, I was doing work on water quality in Arizona, so I was studying how you could use the insects in the water to tell you how clean it was, and was traveling all over Arizona looking at insects in streams. It was while I was doing that work though that I saw the thing that changed the direction of my life entirely. I saw my first dragonfly swarm. I was collecting water samples at a lake in Arizona and saw this huge group of dragonflies that were flying over the grass. I thought this was the most amazing, magical thing I'd ever seen and I wanted to learn more about it, but I couldn't find that much information about it. It just hadn't been studied that much yet. And it's because it's really hard to actually study swarms. You have to be in the right place at the right time to see them. I ended up turning this study into a citizen science project. I invited other people to share their stories of swarms that they'd seen with me so that I could gather enough information to be able to say what swarms are, how they form, and what their role is in our environment. I've had thousands of people contribute swarm observations over the last 10 years, and I've learned a lot about this behavior because I'm working with citizen scientists. 
I absolutely fell in love with this way of doing science. I love teaching people about the work that I'm doing. I love involving people in what I'm doing. And citizen science is an amazing way to help you answer questions you can't answer on your own in the first place, but also involve the public in doing that. So when my job at the museum opened up and I saw the job listing, I knew that was what I really wanted to do. I decided not to become an entomology professor and came to North Carolina to work at a natural history museum instead. Now I'm doing work on dragonflies still. I have two research projects on dragonflies that involve citizen scientists. And I'm also teaching people how to get involved in scientific research as citizen scientists. I love citizen science. One of the most amazing things about citizen science is that you, as a citizen scientist, have a real chance of being the first person in the world to see a new species, to see a behavior, to learn something new about the world. And that sense of discovery is what really drives scientists. We like learning new things, discovering new things. And in citizen science projects, you have the same opportunity to do that. Eco Explorer, it might seem like you're just taking a photo and submitting it, but you might be taking the first photo of a species that anyone has ever taken and you might discover something new. I hope that you are going to love learning about insects as you participate in the entomology season, that you are going to find cool things that you're going to photograph them and submit them so that you can help scientists like me learn more about the world around us. We can all learn together through the work that you're doing through a project like Eco Explorer. I am so excited to be the entomology science mentor for Eco Explorer, and I hope you really enjoy the entomology season as much as I know I would have. Mm -hmm.